Hey, what's up everybody? It's Irving here and Mr. Adam. So we, uh, we had the duty of going to see... It sure was a duty. My Big Fat Greek <laughs> Wedding 2. Mm. So, Kids table movie. <laughs> pretty much. While they're, while they're watching Batman beat the crap out of Superman, which is how it should go, and anybody else says otherwise, fuck you. Um, <laughs> we, we watched Greek. Greek family. <laughs> um, if you hate it, you have no soul. <laughs> Yeah, it's it is what it is. It's kind of yeah. I don't know. It's sweet. It's fun. It's it's got some connection to my Sex in the City because John Corbett's in it. Well, yeah, reprising his role from the first one. Yeah. So it um, if you've seen the trailer, which you may or may have not, it's if it's not your cup of tea. You may not have caught it, but in the trailer, they make it seem like it's her daughter getting married no she's just the sullen teen from she, every yeah. upn show that you've <laughs> ever watched in your entire life um no i get what it revolves around her parents actually getting remarried or technically married the first time because i guess their marriage wasn't signed by their priest so it wasn't legal Another sitcom trope. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of like a season six sitcom trope. You know, like, oh, let's just act like they ain't never been married. Let's do this all over again. So, of course, gives them a reason to bring the rest of the family back in and get her parents remarried. And, the um, touching reunion with the brother that never came over from Greek. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. The brother from the same mother. Um... <laughs> Ooh, but you are forgetting the little, uh, the, the little reveal. Maybe we should save that for them. A little something different for Joey Fatone, let's just say. Oh, something new. Yes. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll talk we'll, about that here. Yeah. <laughs> the, the fat one has, has a reveal, which is surprising. Um, I mean, it's... It's a movie full of the usual tropes. It's the... The whole, my daughter's growing up, and I'm want a mother and dote on her, but she's becoming her own person. And, I mean, everybody's seen a movie that has some some form of that. Um, Black moms don't do that. Be 14, get out. So, I couldn't relate. <laughs> I don't really know what all that means. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> So that's why y'all did not <laughs> deal with the drugs. <laughs> Got to get a job sometime. Right? Easiest now. That's terrible. <laughs> um, so in place of doting on her daughter, she starts to take care of her parents. Um, and she, she had that job in the first one. She was a travel agent. Well, they the travel agency closed because... Bad the economy. economy. Um, so she goes back to work at the restaurant that her dad owns. So she's taking care of them. And it's and another trope comes in where she's just spending all this time with her family. And her husband, John Corbett, is kind of getting neglected. So they have to try and repair that. Like, they're not bad. They're not, like, fighting all the no, time. They're just not, not... They're not... They're, they're, they need a little spice back in the marriage. The, the honeymoon is over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and ladies, uh, John Corbett, he put on that, that old Sex in the City weight that he took off. It's back. He still look all right, but it's back. It's the husband weight, man. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the husband letting, All that Greek food, all that baklava. You right? let yourself go a little bit. A little bit. Um. So anyway, so there, so there's basically the three different stories, kind of revolve into one, um, in the backdrop of the crazy Greek family, which yes. is not too different from the first one. It really isn't. There's not a lot of Windex in this one. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of got away from that a little bit. There is a little bit. There's a little bit of Windex. <laughs> But I don't it's think not, you can fix that. <laughs> but it's not as crazy as it was in the first one. Um, 
It's take take your mama to go see it. That's yep. what I can say. Take your grandma to go see it. It's 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 harmless. It's beige. You know the stories are nice. There's a lot of Botox. A lot of Botox. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's not. It's you just you know. There's just not really a lot to say because there's not really a lot to it. It's just a fun little. I would assume this is just kind of a love letter to the fans of the first one, it, almost. Yeah, and that's I actually that is actually a perfect description of it. If you enjoyed the first one, they just it's like a second helping. Yeah. It really is. Um, they don't really try and change the formula as much. Um, I would say it's a fluff piece, kind of. Yeah. It's not. It's real light. It's a palate cleanser, kind of. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not, there, like you said, there's not much to it. It's a similar formula. The same. Everybody's back. Yeah. Which I'm surprised that after 14 years, some of these people were still alive. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> hey, I mean, they, it's not like they were exactly spring chickens in the first one. Lainey Kazan was holding on for that sequel. <laughs> yes, she was. She, she was she, holding on. She is probably going to be dead after this. <laughs> She's like, I've served my purpose, now I can now be with I the Lord. Now I can go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, they, and then the whole the Joey Fatone thing. His character... Comes out as a gay man, and his he's yeah. But it is cool that it's not like a big, huge, giant reveal. No, it's, it's just, just like it's, we always we knew. knew. Nobody, we nobody knew. surprised. Yeah, and and his mom was like, I know, yeah. it's good. I know, I don't care. Welcome to Next. our family. Here's all the weird Greek yes. shit we do. So that was a that was a that was a surprise. It, it's there's it's charming, you know. It's easy. When you don't got nothing to do, go see My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. <laughs> yeah, and since we all know you're probably going to see Batman versus Superman, I'm just going to let you know that they're about equal in the Rotten Tomato meter. <laughs> so, so, really, pick, pick which movie you think is better. <laughs> this movie is not going to piss you off. Mm. I'll, there you go. I guarantee you there's going to be somebody watching this that's going to be pissed off by Batman vs. Superman. I almost guarantee you that if that same person were to watch My Big Fat Greek Wedding too, they would just be like, meh. 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 That would be, I think that would be the worst reaction this film was like, meh. Meh. I, well, and I, I, I hate doing this, but I always go in, check the Rotten Tomatoes, check Rotten Tomatoes, check the aggregate scores for the reviews, and it does give me a little bit of a bias on certain things. This was one of those ones I was just like, you know, I didn't, I, I kind of enjoyed the first one. It was a fun little thing I forgot for this time. The first one. <laughs> it's been so long, I forgot it. Well, yeah, it's not a, obviously not a memorable, memorable f film for most people, but it was, at the time, it was a fun little movie and it worked and... I think it made like, didn't it make like 200 million? Didn't it just, it, the first one just blow up? It made some money, yep. Put Nina, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Bardalos? Yeah, something like that. Put her on the map. Mm-hmm. She did that horrible television show and got canceled. <laughs> and then hasn't done anything since. Then and then anything I was like, since. hey, I'm, just, it's, I'm working on the sequel. That's what I'm doing for 14 years. I'm sure she, I'm sure she may got her a little, a little check for this. I'm not mad at her. Wrote, she wrote a nice little easy movie. Yeah. But, I mean, really, the other one was... Pretty pretty similar. It was, yeah. it was more of a xenophobic type thing where it was, oh, she's marrying she's a white marrying guy, a white boy, mm. and that whole Not culture the culture wrong clash. With that. So this one wasn't as much a culture mm. clash. It was more of we know these characters, yeah. we know what they do. There's just more of it now. So it's more of a so they they delve into the family dynamic a bit more. And the strength of family and staying yes, together. Does say something nice There's about a, family and does say something nice about being married for you know eighty five years, sticking around, right. hanging in. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be a chore. It can yeah. be fun. So there's there's some nice things that it says. I can't you know I, I can't hate on it. You have no <laughs> like I said earlier. You have no soul if you hate this movie. Right. You have it's no it, soul. It's it's not a movie you should hate because it's. 
it's too it's too happy. Yeah. An yeah. upbeat of a film for you to just be like, oh, yeah, I, I hate, hate this. Ah. Yeah, you have to really look yourself in the mirror and ask, have you reached, gone past that point where you're yeah. just too cynical? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for, you, you, come on, you, everybody got an old grandma like the old woman running around in this movie. So just just think of your old grandma when you watch it. It's the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, because even the even the first one came out in two thousand two. It's been that long. Post, yeah. Wow, I didn't realize it'd been that long. Yeah, um, or two thousand early two thousands, but I, I'm pretty sure it was post nine eleven, and that makes more that that <laughs> makes more sense why that movie blew up. If it was post, if it was yeah. pretty soon after nine eleven, that usually it was. We need some candy. Yeah, I think because I think it was early two thousand two yeah. or mid two thousand two. Yeah, it was definitely. I think it was post nine eleven though. I'm sure somebody will look it up in the comments yeah. and go, "It was on it this was date and this day." It's like, That's, okay, congratulations, Thank you. Gold Star. <laughs> you win. Uh, but anyway, I mean, it was. Yeah, it was. I almost feel like it's kind of. It's a similar situation to that first movie where it's movies like this are kind of necessary, especially again when we have in this resurgence in terrorism and terror attacks. Yes. People are starting to get kind of cynical mm -hmm. again, um, kind of kind of getting down about things. So it's nice to kind of have big be a good time for that Guardians of the Galaxy sequel to come out. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> awesome. That's next year though. That's um, but it's nice to have movies like this to come along, and it's it's not a great movie. No, no. you're not going to be like this is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's not amazing. But I guarantee it doesn't you, doesn't have Kate Blanchett in it. That's why it's not well, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I can almost guarantee you that even if you go into this going, I'm not going to like this movie. There's going to be times where you're chuckling to yourself in yes. spite of that. Fact. Yes, that's just. A that's what you will do. You will laugh at yourself. You sit in there, a little black woman face, but you still end up laughing because you can't help yourself. Because everybody got a family. You know, Easter's coming up this weekend. You know, every, everybody's got to be with their crazy family coming up this weekend. So, yeah. it's perfect, perfect timing. Yeah, every, and everybody's got those stories. Everybody has at least one family member where you can just recall yes. is just out there. They just have a few more. Yeah, a, <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> they're more. they're a bunch of characters, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I don't know. If this is something you're gonna go see in the theater. Probably not. Probably not. But if you're looking for something just to throw in, <sighs> like it down the road when it comes on video, yeah. or if they stream it on Netflix, and you watch the first one, and we're like, yeah, that was fun. Good. I liked it. Yeah, this one's gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Um. It's a nice, it's a shame that it's March, because this is a nice February snowed in kind of movie. Just 12 inches of snow on the ground. Oh, wait, this isn't just for people in Illinois. Uh, right, yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, when you're just at home, got nothing to do, you know, you know, gotta alphabetize something, just throw this in. Nice movie in the background. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think, I mean, and, on, and people are gonna be like, well, what's the plot? And I said, well, I, I pretty much yeah. described the plot. It's not. Yeah. It's no. It's, it's no deeper than yeah, what we just described. It doesn't go much deeper than that. Literally five minutes, yeah. and it doesn't go much deeper than that. And it doesn't need to be. I mean, yeah. it's fine what it is. You know, yeah. it doesn't need the nuance and the mm -hmm. thirty different plot directions that Batman no. and Superman probably will have. Um, nor is it going to be convoluted like Batman yeah. versus Superman. Yeah, this ain't scandal. <laughs> we don't need no big twists. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you. If you got nothing better to do, you pissed off at Batman vs Superman. Go, go watch go, this. Go it's, watch this. You'll, you'll, you'll laugh. You'll smile. You'll yeah. grin. I'm not saying you're gonna laugh hysterically, like some of the audience that we had. Uh, you'll laugh at the old people giving audio commentary the oh entire time. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. So there we go. At one point in the movie. They get these tuxes that were <laughs> that were used from like a, a wedding band. I'm trying, and I, I can't remember what what was the what name. Was the Funketeers. The Funketeers. The Funketeers. Can we act like that the band 
that the band that wore those shirts are the band from Back to the Future. That there you go. That is who. That's who the Funketeers <laughs> were. Was the band from it's Back your to cousin, the Future? Mom and Barry. <laughs> Listen to this. Sorry. <laughs> so they're all like se- like gold sequins. And on the back it says Funketeers <laughs> in those same gold letters. <laughs> every time, and I mean every time, that that you, it showed a picture of the back of the tux and they saw a Funketeer. Somebody goes, "Oh, it's Funketeers!" Funketeers! <laughs> every fucking time, I'm just like, "We can see it. We get it. We are watching the same movie you are, <laughs> jerk hole." <laughs> What does that va- what does that lettering on is the it, van say? What's it say? Art something. <laughs> can't you can't yell at the old people in this movie. Uh, I can when they keep saying fucking yeah. tears when it's shown like five times. <laughs> it's not like, once maybe. Once be like, oh yeah, funky tears, okay. But every time. Oh look, is this well, fucking tears. tears! It's the same fucking thing it said before. <laughs> when you saw it the first fucking time. You don't need to keep fucking saying it. Not shocking. They probably couldn't hear. They old. Probably not. And they and they thought it was just a knee slapper. They oh, it was I know. the funniest it's thing in the world. Not that funny. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta chuckle the first time. No more. No more. Stop it. No more. <laughs> Do I have to roll up a newspaper and hit you with it? <laughs> Bad dog. So, um, and I we had a that that same individual was kind of spreading some color commentary throughout the movie and it was just kind of like all right whatever yeah indeed <laughs> can't and i can't yell at this one I, you know like, if it was the revenant i would have told him to shut up but it's, okay. it's... <laughs> see watching leo eat that liver oh liver, oh, liver! liver! <laughs> is that a horse is did he just horse? kill that horse did he just jump off that cliff with that horse oh my god is he climbing into that horse that Tom Hardy is sure that- is cute. Oh, that's what I said in The Revenant. My bad. <laughs> oh my god, he just stabbed that Indian kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I kind of want to do that now. I kind of want to walk into a showing in The Revenant and just do that. Just to piss people off. Oh, he killed the Indian kid. Oh, Leo's going to be pissed about that one. <laughs> I thought this was the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Where's the cocaine and hookers? Why isn't he saying fuck every other word? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, t- tangent alert. Tangent <laughs> alert. That's that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it's... You're either going to go see this or you're not. Yeah, that's but, really... It's really th- yeah. Yeah. Like I said, take your mama, take your grandma. It's yeah, Easter like, weekend. It's, Take yeah, it's nice family movie. Everybody can go. Is. Yeah, it's it's safe for family, so it's especially since if they like the first one. And if you're Greek, go see it. <laughs> and, oh, there we go. They'll be pissed. Somebody, somebody who's Greek, will be pissed off about the representation of Greeks. Oh God, I hope in not. This movie. Uh, hey, somebody would. Yeah, somebody will have something to say. We're not all like that. Yeah, <laughs> right. We don't all look the same. <laughs> we all don't eat baklava. Some of us think it's gross. Why is our Why is our Greek imitation voice high pitched? <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! Like, I don't have hair everywhere. I don't have to shave. I have two eyebrows. <laughs> Oh, oh man! I'm gonna, I, now I'm gonna look for that. I'm gonna look for the Greek person that complained, that pissed off yeah. about this movie, oh, this harmless, easy little movie. Nick Papadopoulos. And- <laughs> oh, John Stamos Just, is in it. John, yes, yes, that's right, I forgot John Stamos, Stamos is in it. Looking good. He's looking good in Fuller House too. So uh, I will not waste my time with Fuller House. Oh, don't be like that. I ain't. That's no different than this. You, it's. It's totally saccharine and totally just light, fluffy goodness. Why don't they bring back Family Matters? I'll watch that. <laughs> you gonna try and get Jaleel White to put on those fucking suspenders again? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna find out what happened to the sister that turned into a porn star. <laughs> She's still sucking dick in the back of the alley. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she tried to get a part in my big fat Greek wedding too, and they said, "Nope, sorry, we got no use for you in this movie." <laughs> oh, shit! God damn it! So I'm trying to think. I don't think we got. We missed some of the trailers because we, because of all the fucking Batman versus Superman. Yes, pieces. yeah, it was there was a long line at the concession stand. What trailer did we? There was oh that cute that that cute kid dog movie. The Secret Life of Pets. Uh, that, you know, that'll be cute Which was fun. weird in front of this, but... Yeah. And then what was the other... I really wasn't me, paying attention. It was me before you. It was uh, Amelia oh. Clark. Oh, yeah. Daenerys Targaryen, for those who... That's who that was? Yeah. I knew I... I was, yeah. I, I was looking at her like, wow, that that, that's not Daenerys. That is the mother of dragons right there. Wow. So, um... Season 5, Game of Thrones. Haven't watched it yet doing that here pretty soon oh you bet oh no just in time for season six do you know everything that happens in it have you kept all, yourself all i know is i know that uh, my girl cersei lannister walks through the street naked but i don't know okay. how she gets to that point okay i don't know oh that's yeah. not even oh that's yeah. nope it's gonna see in the end of season five will probably piss you off but that's what i've been told <laughs> That is what I've been told. <laughs> sorry, we're going to Game of Thrones now. Fuck yeah, this. Sorry, it's all sorry. Good now. Um, the 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 Lannisters came in and killed all the Greek folk, and that's why <laughs> that's why we're on Game of Thrones now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there are two Game of Thrones characters in that Me Before You movie because there's Amelia mm. Clark, and I think I saw Charles Dance. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I was looking at that girl thinking, where do I know her from that? It was Daenerys. So. Yes, I call her Daenerys and not Daenerys. I have, I call her what I want to call her and that her name is Daenerys. <laughs> Don't put it in the comments. Daenerys is not her name. It would be if she had weave. <laughs> <laughs> you know somebody's going to name their kid Daenerys, Daenerys. Jackson. <laughs> You know it's gonna Daenerys happen. Daenerys P. Jackson. You know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I might do it myself. <laughs> Ooh no, Khaleesi. Somebody's gonna name their kid Khaleesi. Yes, there are actually those two names jumped up popularity I'm by like not surprised a thousand percent after Game of Thrones came out. Ka Khaleesi Smith, watch for it. Khaleesi, watch for it. <laughs> Probably that, but. All right. Well, I don't know how we got here, but we did. We did. So, yeah, it was alright movie. Again, for the third time, I think we've said that probably. Yeah. yeah. Go enjoy or Go. not. Yeah. And since you're not going to, have fun getting pissed off at Batman versus Superman. Bye. <laughs>